Our team, welcome back uh, to the continuation for our uh, keyword driven framework project on QTP. So, uh, what we're going to do is take a quick look at where we left the previous session and then continue from there on. All right. So, team, primarily the whole focus has been the plan. The plan as to what is it that we are planning to get done with this whole thing. Right. So, we have created our the steps of what is it that we're trying to execute and so on. And then we are saying that let's start to handle some of the errors. The most important thing, team, is to plan your whole process of what you're trying to do. Okay. We've created the reusable keywords, uh, test cases, and all those prepared. Uh, we've started to initialize the test uh, data and we've also tested it on a couple of test cases. Then we've created the driver script to be able to read and write from the Excel, right? So now what I'm saying is let's start to do error handling. Actually, we've started doing error handling extensively and we've done a significant amount on it. Now let's see where this will lead us, okay? So uh, if you look at team, in the driver I have three or four important ones. One is keyword executor, which tells us where, uh, which keyword function to call and what to pass. The other is get the inputs, which will convert my Excel information into the variables, uh, test data variables that we need. Uh, I have a get test data, which reads the test data into environment variables. Then I have the error report, right? So the whole point has been that once I write my test cases, and I say, which are the test cases to execute out here? I select them and then I go forward into test steps and put the specific keywords against each of the corresponding test cases. Uh, and then what are the other inputs that I need to provide? The variable test data names or the information that is needed to identify that specific uh, object in the application so that we can perform the activity on it and so on. Right, And now all I'm saying is at the end of the test run, the results should come back to us and say where is it working, what is happening and so on. And looks like we've got an erroneous result. I didn't get any error, but when I look at this out here, it says blank. So why is this happening? What's causing it? So we need to debug and find the source for it. But the way this has been built is that if I pass the keyword and the inputs that I need to provide, then I should automatically be able to recognize where things are, what is happening, where things are going wrong and so on. And at the end, uh, let's see, where is this coming from, driver 2? Let's save this as alt FA, driver 3. We will do a debug run, we will test our code and then 